outlets are being uh, eradicated in, in a lot of different ways. One one part of it is the downturn, the ep- economic uh, recession, depression, whatever you want to call it. And um, that leaves a, a door wide open for uh, bloggery and citizen citizen journalists, citizen journalists. I, I, I have to be 100% honest about this. A lot of uh, in, inside track and information I get doesn't always come from the established me- media. It comes from you guys, people who are out there looking at these issues and trying to f- shed some light on them because other outlets are not. They either don't have the ability, don't have the staff, don't have the resources, or largely just ignore the stuff because it's not worth deemed worthy of going after. So I take the information wherever I can get it, whether it's bed bugs up in uh, Saratoga Springs, where I'm seeing a more and more uh, locally, more and more that people who are actually out there making waves, questioning these authorities, town councils, town boards, common councils, and the like, more and more things are being crafted to suppress those voices. Not only suppress those voices, prevent those people from showing up. In my old own town of Rotterdam, you might have remembered this story, I think Chris you do, where the, they called the cops on a woman because she started uh, getting saying things during the town meeting that they didn't like. So they fired off a 911 call and brought in three or four police cars to come into the town board meeting. Uh, it was insane. And then you have these, like in Schenectady, rules where you get two minutes and then you get the bell rung, ding, 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 you're out of time. Or in Albany County, which is uh, which they largely rig these things, uh, matters of importance are minimized, not really thrown out there in the public, They stack the deck with speakers in support of their initiatives and freeze out anybody else who would run counter to that. It happens all over the place because they want to solidify their power. And if anybody is out there speaking out against it or going after for them, they want to suppress those voices. Guys just taking photographs of mattresses on a public uh, housing uh, thing. At least the DA's made the right call because they know that if he fights those charges, he's probably going to win. He's probably going to win. He's not dealing drugs, not harassing people who live there, not uh, uh, doing anything like that, that you could have a uh, in, in, institute a no trespassing edict on a private citizen. The DA's office knows that. So that's why they're not going to prosecute if uh, John in Saratoga is cuffed and brought downtown because he's trying to fi- get, figure out what's going on with this housing authority where the where the the top gun there is getting 150k a year of taxpayer dollars and all the problems that are going on in that facility all right before i hit the, soon it may be a crime to photograph hey Al. hi connie i applaud this guy boy we could use a million of these people everywhere to have the guts he has because all I could think of the whole time he was talking, Steve Rossi. Yeah, yeah. That's all I could think of. Maybe they're a relative or he went to Steve, Steve Rossi's school of uh, how to get your way and bully people. Mm-hmm. people That's what it is. It's bullying. It's we don't like what you're saying. We don't like that you're lifting, you know, you're trying to expose something here. So we're going to use our power, whatever it is, through the police and, and rules or regulations to suppress your voice. And I will tell you, this guy doesn't stay in this job because he's doing a great job. He knows something. He's got something on somebody, just like Steve Rossi. They have this knowledge. They don't have talent, but they have a way of knowing every dirty little thing about somebody. And they basically blackmail them or have these bogus things so this guy can't even pursue these claims and let the poor people have a voice. Well, we t- t- today, I mean, Andrew Breitbart, whether you agreed with his politics or not, is, is sort of irrelevant. He was that kind of guy at a national stage trying to expose things or get after things that the rest of the media wasn't doing. Sometimes he hit the mark, sometimes he didn't. But I think we do need more people like that. Oh, and to pick up the to pick up the slack 
and what the traditional media has fallen off on for the uh, reasons I've just given a few minutes ago. And understand the courage it takes for this guy to do this, because, you know, this guy's got something going, and he's got the police backing him and things. I, I mean, this guy is very courageous. He really is, and uh, we need more people to do it, and God bless him, because it, it does take courage, because these people have a power that they can get you. Well, this is why I, I think freedom on the Internet, and why I'm also, and we'll be talking to an attorney who's representing uh, his client that has been charged under the Albany County cyberbullying law. If we see a more outreach on cyberbullying where free speech is now uh, considered a privilege and not a right, and that anything that's written that is deemed offensive or bothersome to people can be, you can charge that person, that kind of stuff is going to go away. Because it's not going to be used to, quote, protect the kids. It's going to be used to suppress voices that are pointing out deep inherent flaws on a local level, a state level, and across this country. And that's not good. And when these people are afraid of anything like this, I automatically assume 